Hello and welcome back to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. Today we are going to add ephemera to our new junk journal that we recently made. I'm so excited. All right, so let's get started. Um, we are going to take this and go page by page through it, adding different uh, ephemera and things to it. And we have uh, a lot of different stuff here that we can see if it looks right and pop it into the pages, including cards. Um, we have uh, while you were out uh, cards, as well as some receipts, some tags, different fun things to put in our journal. So let's get started. So when I'm looking at our journal, we like to put things in the journal that is going to jog a memory or help us in the full journaling process. So one thing I like to do is with these while you are out cards, I like to use these as a future note to my future self. So let's put um, a couple of these in this first page and it'll also um, give you an idea of hopefully jogging your memory or giving you some ideas of how to get started in your junk journal. And I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna have one open and one folded over. And I've got this nice page here where this can be a tuck. If I had something I wanted to tuck under that page to hold it right there, um, or of course the pocket and with the pink it brings this uh, muted a little bit and brings out the pink on the fabric on the uh, page here. So and we turn the page we have another pocket and this is the black the red reddish with a white to the green trim and let's see I pull this up for the green let's go ahead and put a postcard in here that I did not use when I was on the AMA waterways uh, this is a beautiful memory. It may uh, bring up memories for the uh, journaler, or it may bring up future dreams of uh, where that person might want to venture on a future vacation. Plenty of room to journal. And you can always decoupage or do some art on that as well. This is a nice little tuck, but I think we'll leave that be just as a beautiful decoration there. We've got our next page here, have some sewing on it, some nice uh, sticker there. And in a junk journal, what the purpose in my opinion is, is to bring up different ideas of what that person might want to uh, journal about, different memories, uh, different um, ideas of what to do, and so we want to use a lot of different ephemera. This is an envelope. It actually fits this card that we put over here um, that I purchased in Ireland. This is a hand-drawn and then duplicated, mass-produced. Um, but again, um, the artist who drew that, getting the credit for that purchase. And let's put that card, let's open that up for that envelope. Put that through here. Another pocket over here. Uh, maybe I want to keep with the uh, dark plaid and put a card in that pocket. Now, these cards, again, are not meant to remain as playing cards, but to be uh, a way that you can decoupage or alter um, these cards with your journaling and your art style for your junk journal. I might put that with a red and the king up there. And adding things to the pockets in the junk journal is uh, a great idea um, if you're selling a junk journal because it gives the other person ideas of what they can do and really gets them started on their journey. I might even hide this postcard in there. This is Irish Castles. Um, we saw all of these in person uh, from our tours or from the uh, cruise that we took with AMA Waterways. 
um, but I purchased this as a souvenir. And I like to always get extras of these that I'm not mailing out because they're great in my own personal junk journals. And when I have extras, I like to include those in the uh, journals that I pass on to others or sell because they bring up great uh, travel ideas or, or desires. This already has some paper in here. Uh, look, feels like a card. Let's see if I can pull that out. Uh, just a little piece of paper um, tucked in there, giving you different ideas to hide things, to journal on. And let's see what else I have here. Um, I do want to come back and put uh, some ribbon on these tags, but just for now, let's pop that in there. And then we'll come back and put some ribbon on here. And I'm wondering, let me put one of these doilies in this side. Let's put the tag on that side. And let's go ahead and take one of these doilies. Um, these are fun to uh, paint on, to write on, to make little secret notes to. It actually says love. I don't know if I picked these up in a, uh, a grocery store, a department store, um, or just one of those dollar stores. Um, so I'm going to tuck that in there so you can put your uh, memories and journaling on. I've already got a handmade tag here that has started. I need to come back, put some ribbon on those. Uh, looks like some notebook paper. We've got another, um, that might be the full page there. Oh yes, pocket on this side. Now you can opt to, looks like my sewing ended here. We can tear that off so you have a better place or it works as a, a great little tuck away to hide things that you don't want everybody seeing if they happen to flip through a journal that you left out on the bed. I like to add lots of textural things in our mixed media journals. Have another pocket here. Uh, let's put a receipt. Now again on these, I like to use these. Looks like you use the white part, so let's go ahead and put three a white and two yellows in here. I like to use these as my to-do sheets. These do have 15 different numbers on them, um, and you can do your pros and your cons. You can do your to-dos. You can make these into anything you want, but I find leftover receipt books very uh, useful. And something over here, maybe I've got another white tag. Let's put the white tag in there. It goes well with this, kind of takes a, a lot of the color out of the brown. Brown mixes with the tea stain and the tie dye, or the coffee stain over here. And another pocket. I want some a little pizzazz there, a little bit of color. What shall we do? What shall we do? Let's do one of these cards. Uh, these are deck of cards I got from Budapest. These brilliantly, um, nice texture, very shiny, very glossy. Um, these add a lot of pop and a lot of color. And I might also put a couple of paper clips here, letting you know not to forget to go ahead and put your receipts for your memories, your special dinners, your different things in here. And I am gonna have an upcoming tutorial on decorating paper clips. So they'll have the ribbons, the paper, they'll be larger, uh, much more friendly. Look at this, love that. Okay, and since I got the green up here just by having stamps, let's put a king um, in there, matching up the green. I like that in there. And again, hopefully just putting some of this ephemera into our junk journals. It's not necessary uh, before we pass it on to somebody else, but I do like it because it really, in my opinion, uh, gives the uh, new owner uh, so much more to think about, some art pieces to really start decoupaging, uh, doing some art on and uh, really enhances the overall journal and encourages them right away, put your treasures in those pockets, use them. Um, that's what they're there for. And do we want green and red on this page? Look at two sevens. I think it'd be good there, but I think the pop of color here is really sharp. I like that. I'm gonna leave that there. Nice textural book pages. Can't look at that. That's so funny. 
Um, let's see what we have. I'm thinking maybe another heart to go on this page. And I do like folding these up instead of creasing them in the center in the spine like we might do. Um, I just take the hearts in half. That way you can decide whether you may want to make a fan out of them, put a hidden treasure, glue them on the page. Whatever you feel like doing, you can do. And, oh, I love that. Okay, we decoupage that a little bit. Um, what do I have? What do I have? Haven't opened that deck of cards yet. Um, maybe that will look well there so let's just put this piece in oh i know that's a pocket i wanted to stick down on my glue let's see if i can free that up there we go freed it up real nice and we'll just leave that sticking out there another pocket here but look i already have a postcard in there or an old photograph with some of our dolls that we have Oh, look, love this. Perfect for that pocket. Another pocket here. Maybe a while you were out. And again, you can use these for, I think that's two sheets. You can use these for anything you want to use them for. Um, maybe I'll just leave those two together. Um, but I like using them for my own personal thoughts my do I do this do I do that let's make a, a pros and cons let's make a to-do list let's uh, have my five-year goals my one-year goals my 10-year so when I look back at my junk journals I can say you know what I changed direction or wow I did that and I did so much more than that or okay now it's time to go ahead and do that oh look at this a nice little card on here I like that um, sometimes I forget what I do. I love it. Okay. And this looks like a thin little pocket here with some hidey places to journal on. Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't like the white on top of white on top of white. Let's do one of these. These are a pack of tags I have. And I think this red and pink or purple, I don't have the, the threads on them yet. I wanted to put the ribbons and yarn on it or yarn on it. Um, but I think this color might be real good in there. A little pop of color um, for that spot. And there we go. One more pocket. Let's put one more of those same tags. I think that works fine with the ribbon and lace there. Nice little color, love that book page. And then let's put a couple more of these little receipts in here. And on the back, yes, we've got another page. Let's put another of our, let's fold it in half this way. Okay, and there you have it. We have added ephemera to another one signature junk journal. So we have uh, that complete. I'm pretty happy about that. And now we will get a uh, about a one inch uh, piece of fabric, wrap it around there, give it a nice bow, maybe add some beads to the bottom and that journal is ready to go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, my friends.